Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for a treat, a festive treat if you will, although it's not really Christmassy, I had lots of requests all through the year to repeat my complete handbag collection and I just thought because I have a handbag giveaway for you for Christmas, I would put it in this video. So this is how it's going to go. The first half of the video is going to be contemporary brands, more affordable bags. Then we're going to have the giveaway in the middle, I think, and then we're going to do the high-end bags. I'm not sure how. I'll edit it together. But um, yeah, let's go. First up, Longchamp. Le Pliage, a medium or large handheld shopper in bright red. Le Pliage backpack in peony pink. Longchamp cure or leather XS size. Top handle. Comes with a leather shoulder strap, but I switched it for their own gunmetal crossbody chain. Love. I also have this in white leather. It was a limited edition with an adjustable leather strap and broderie anglais, anglais trim in leather at the front, but that one is in storage. Leather backpack from Longchamp. Uh, they don't do this anymore, but they do similar ones. Medium to large, back pocket very handy, lovely gunmetal hardware. Kate Spade. Nylon shoulder bag with the zipper. Zipper compartment inside. One of my favorites from this year. Um, past season crushed velvet bag from Kate Spade with a champagne long chain and a removable oversized satin bow phone pocket on the back. Beautiful. This is a metallic leather bag from Ted Baker. It has a crossbody strap, but you can take it off and it has like a secret interior bit there. Two zipper sections. You can use it as a clutch. Love this one. My beloved dark green Cambridge satchel, which has been personalized. Beth Rachel Davis and a heart in black. This is the old style without the top handle, which I kind of wish it had. And it has magnets to get in so you don't have to do the buckles. My Helen Friends tote, big leather slouchy tote. And inside it, a matching pouch or clutch. Mulberry from smallest to largest. This is like a wallet on chain, Dali, in the same solid gray color as another one of my bags. It has a long crossbody chain. Next up, my beloved and my favorite Mulberry piece ever. This is my mini Alexa, the new version from last year. Or well, this year, this year. Not the original that came out in the 2000s. It has a lovely long crossbody strap, little woven handle, classic chestnut colour. Love this bag. And then my two zipped base waters. Mini in oxblood. And my least used mulberry because it's just a bigger bag. This is the small in uh, the solid grey. The same colour as my Dali, Girl Loves a Neutral. And this is a silk scarf thing, twilly from Marlboro. I need to use this more, but I find it just very boxy and a little bit large for my everyday needs. I have two bags from YSL, otherwise known as Saint Laurent. The first one I got was this tote, I don't even know the name of it. Some people said it was part of the Reeve Gauche line. Some people say it's something else. They don't make this anymore. It's this very kind of formal, worky style bag for me, but I have a real soft spot for it. 
It has a magnetic pocket on the back and I'm doing that thing again with the review. Crossbody strap, has an organiser inside at the minute. You can undo the poppers and wing it out. Do you remember when all the bags winged out? Like the Phantom and stuff, if, it, if you've got more stuff. But I don't really use this bag very much, but I don't, I'm very attached to it at the same time. So feet, I, uh, I keep it in case I need it. And my beloved, I'm using it in a minute, so it's packed. Medium collage bag in the dark grey. I wouldn't mind the bigger one of this, the slouchy large one day. Love this bag. Long chain with a leather piece for the shoulder, top handle. Just glorious to use. I have, I have a lot of brands where I have two bags. I have two Gucci bags, both soft, small, crossbody, very practical so for like the summer months although that's rubbish I do wear this with caramels and browns and stuff in the winter this is my Gucci Soho disco bag zip tassel long adjustable strap I had it in navy I didn't look after it it got a bit slouchy I got it in this beautiful color which was what I always really wanted but I was scared of lighter colors back then and this is just a staple for me now and then I have the marmon in the small which has got some chain antique chain and leather strap it's just so this is such an amazing bag ah oh, my heart be still my beating heart my beautiful loewe puzzle bags this one is in grained leather navy midnight navy leather with smooth black leather trim and these ones always have the contrast stitching and shiny leather on the handle. They also have long straps inside, but a strap is a strap. And then the classic smooth tan, which has got silver hardware. So they're different enough. And I just love it so much. I bought it twice. Here is my beloved Fur Lepage Daily Battle in the 37 size in the gray. I have it with shorter handles at the moment because I quite like a hand carry tote rather than fighting with, you know, shoulder straps and a coat. I uh, just, oh, I love this. I was torn between, hardly though, only for a hot minute. I was thinking of getting a Goyard and this is just everything for me more than that. It's got leather, uh, leather corners. It's got adjustable straps. It's soft and floppy compared to the Neverfull, but still just structured enough that it feels like it will last a long time gorgeous brand gorgeous bag and then here is another bag where i only have one from a brand and that is my balenciaga city bag the old style that they now sadly and maddeningly maddeningly can't say that don't do anymore this is the small the perfect size for me the mini's too mini the original size i had in the gray only had a shoulder strap it was so big and slouchy this is the small and I will show you the strap because on this occasion the strap is like a feature of the bag. It's wrapped around the cushion inside but you can see it has the Balenciaga branding going all down it and that's just enough of that kind of logo mania-y kind of thing for me. Bit of fun, gorgeous ivory colour with silver hardware. I love this bag. Okay, Louis Vuitton next. We're gonna do the big totes and go down to the smaller bags just for a bit of fun. Oldest to newest, uh, beautiful Totally MM. Used this as a baby bag, treasured memories. It has pockets on the side, two shoulder straps, and unlike the Neverfull, zip on the top, which is so awesome. And it's just thick, beautiful, pliable, high quality canvas. And then I have the beautiful and classic Neverfull MM. Mine is in the Damier Bean, but with the soft pink, I can't remember the name of this, Rose, but it's not Rose Ballerine, it's the other one. There's two baby pinks. The pink does mark up a lot. You have to work quite hard to keep it clean. And then you've got your matching flat pouch, which I love. Can't beat a good Neverfull. I also have the GM in Azure for sort of summer holidays and beaches and stuff, but that one's up in the attic. Next one in size is my Speedy Bandolier 30. I'm so torn, I still am to this day, between the 25 and the 30. 
when I get this out and look at it, I think, oh my God, that bag is huge. But then I see photos of other people carrying the 30 and I think it doesn't look that huge. I don't know. I haven't used this very much since I got it. There will be times. It's just that I've got now, I feel for me, quite a lot of bags and I find it hard to rotate and use them more evenly. I just gravitate towards certain ones, but I also would never want to be without a speedy bandolier because I just think they're so practical, so classic for the house. And again, uh, shoulder strap, crossbody strap, ultra practical, lightweight. Next two are my babies, the Palm Springs mini backpack, straps are packed away. And um, mine is the new version where the zipper is exposed so you don't have to like lift this flap. This is so beautiful. I have some wear and tear issues coming on the um, tabs that hold the D-rings for the straps where I've lost the edge almost completely in the glazing, but I've decided to wait for it to get worse before I take it back. Otherwise I'm just gonna be doing it every year, but I love it enough to keep it. And my beloved, what a revelation, a bag that I looked at and toyed with for years and thought, oh no, it's too small. It won't be practical for me. The Alma BB is probably up there. Oh, I don't know what my favourite is, but this might be my favourite Louis Vuitton bag. It's just so perfect. Crossbody, handheld, elegant, fun to carry. And actually, I don't find... See, I'm doing reviews. I told you I wasn't going to. I find I can hold loads in here without distorting the top or you just don't do it up completely. And then I have three of these. I'm not going to get them all out because it's just so time consuming. This is the monogram one. It's got the shoulder strap on. This is the Porsche accessoire. And I have it in Damier Bean and I have it in Damn it, it's here. Very handy. I know they're impossible to get now, but you might be able to get them pre-loved, but they, they're just so versatile, practical pieces. And then I'm showing this as a bag, but it's not really a bag. It's the Toiletry 26. I've changed my mind about this. I actually do, not for my lifestyle in the city, but if I was traveling and I was on holiday, I would take this as a, I would take this to dinner on in a resort with beach kind of resorty wear and put it under my arm, I quite like that. Um, so I thought I'd share it as a bag, but the other two smaller ones I would not use. And I don't like personally, just for me, I don't like attaching loops and straps to things that don't aren't meant to have them. I think it looks a bit naff, but just how it is like this, I think it looks pretty chic. Put your sunglasses in there, your sunblock, your phone, off you go. Good grief, I nearly forgot the most beautiful Louis Vuitton bag I have. My pochette Mati was sitting there in the black bag shelf hiding. Um, this is my Empreinte leather pochette Mati in black leather. And I love it with a twilly on top just to make it look a bit less serious because it's a bit more plain than the uh, monogram one. And the inside of this one has that sort of striped like you get in the Neverfuls now. Lots of sections, beautiful strap. I also have, and I don't know where it is. I'm a bit worried about that because I've just tidy through my bag collection but I have the thick guitar strap and I wanted to just give you the feedback that it's a great investment if you can get one I like putting it it's got monogram on one side smooth black leather on the other side I use it a lot with this bag and I use it a ton with this one because I'm not really that into those little scrawny straps that come with this one so that is my Louis Vuitton bag collection I love them all none of them are going anywhere the only one that would possibly leave the collection at some point is if the wear and tear issues are not easily resolved or reoccur a second time, then I'm I'm out. I've had my fun. It was a kind of a bit of a fashion moment. Um, I don't really feel the need to necessarily have this bag in my collection forever because it's borderline a bit of a novelty, but I'm st I still love it now and I want to fix these tabs and keep using it. But I could see a situation where I would get bored of this in the future Whereas I don't feel like that about this because it is so kind of classic. I found it. I know it's not a bag, but I just wanted to share. It's the Bandelier XL that I have. So it's not too thick and it's extra long because it's adjustable here. This is one of those key pieces. I think I'm going to do 
a video coming up on just good buys, things from different price points, different brands in 2021. I might include 2020 because I can never remember exactly when something I got something. And this is just one of those things where you look at it and you're like, yeah, I'm so glad I got that. Um, it seemed a lot of money at the time for a strap, but basically it has transformed the way I carry other bags and added something really versatile that you can use with other branded bags and stuff as well. So it is worth the money to me. And finally, I hope I haven't missed anything out. Probably if you know me quite well, you'll know if I have. Chanel, number one. This is a medium O case. Remember when everyone went nuts for these? They're kind of not a thing anymore. But I love mine. It's a clutch that's not too formal. And surprisingly, I've used it loads. I might even use it tonight, going for dinner with girls. Love it so much, would never part with it. And when I think what I paid for it and what all these Chanel things cost now, bargain, it's got this lovely hardware. Next in size is my beautiful, my most recent Chanel bag. And this was a replacement for a damaged or sort of faulty bag. This is my classic wallet on chain in black lambskin with gold hardware. Recent improvements to the wallet on chain include much nicer zippers, not YKK cheapy zippers that lie flat and much smoother and a big old easy to close magnet. I adore this. This is, it's hard to say, but this might be my favorite Chanel piece. Use it so much. And I'm not scared of lambskin anymore. Lambskin is the real deal. Lambskin is where it's at with Chanel. I've come to feel with smaller pieces anyway. Next up is my beloved classic never will part with this unless some terrible disaster befalls me and i have to this is my medium large classic flap in black caviar leather with gold hardware not very practical strap lengthwise but the prettiest bag i own and if i want to feel really special this is the bag that i wear and then next up my love hate relationship like many people probably have a love hate relationship with the jumbo mine is black caviar again with silver hardware this time and it is an absolute tank it weighs a ton i never wear it i never wear it but i don't think i can part with it because if i ever changed my mind and had seller's remorse i just could not in good conscience replace it at the current price so I basically keep it and it lives in the cupboard and I get it out now and then and I use it for half a day and then I'm like, oh, that bag is so heavy. It depends what I'm doing, but um, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's so classic. It's something I dreamed about owning for such a long time, but it's just too heavy. It's too heavy to be normal. They need to make these slightly less heavy. I just, I think that most people have an issue with, it's empty now and I can barely hold the thing. Last but not least, another never worn bag, if I'm really honest. Doing this is really interesting. I've been looking at these bags and it's fun, but I realised that I have a few pieces that I rotate really heavily and everything else sits there to be looked at. I'm not sure how I feel about that anymore. I think I keep a lot of these bags because I love the way they look, but I never really wear them, but I would never part with this because I love it. But I get scared because it's fabric. It always rains here, but it does get its wear. It just doesn't get the regular wear like a Neverfull that you can just throw around. But I love my Deauville. It's the um, large size, or they call it 30 centimetre, but it's huge. Shoulder straps, and mine have the T-piece bar, so you can take them out, not the cap. Gorgeous. I love the dual handles. I love that about that on the go from Louis Vuitton, um, that you can do handheld or you can carry it a different way. Yeah, and I just, I love this so much. And now that I'm looking at it, I want to use it. Anyway, that is my entire bag collection. Uh, tried to go through quickly. Ended up talking about some pieces for a little bit. But I'm going to see how long that is when I edit it together. And then stay tuned because here comes the giveaway. Okay, so we've seen our my current handbag collection. A couple of things I know I'll get asked. Do I have anything on my wish list? I try to not do wish lists anymore because I used to spend a lot of energy fixating on things that I wanted instead of enjoying the moment, enjoying what I had now. But if I were to say any bags that were on my radar, I would say that I would really like to have a Chanel rectangular mini at some point, because I know that that would be 
something that would work for me now. I've tried it on, I like the strap length, I like the size of the inside the bag. So I would love to get one of those that just is a bit more easy to pack or different to pack than um, my wok. And I mean, they don't do them in caviar. Would I go for lamb? I guess, I don't know. It's just a pipe dream because I don't live in London. So when they get things, I probably wouldn't get one. But it's just there that if we were ever a, a, in a city and we saw one and I liked it, I would probably grab one of those. And then off and on over the last year or so since it launched, whenever it launched, I have been slightly intrigued by the um, soft version of the Givenchy Antigona. And I did put that on my kind of Christmas list just so that my husband had ideas if he wanted to get something like that. But it's not life and death. Like if it doesn't happen, it's fine. But I think that's a really good price. I like the um, slouchiness of it. And I would like like the small one, I think. So I don't mind what colour. So, um, you know, they. I might in the next year or two get one of those. But I'm just really happy with what I've got. I have ordered a little smile velvet bag with a chunky gold chain. Um, because that's the thing I like about some of the new Louis Vuittons and Bottegas, that chunky, nice chain to hold in your hand. But just from Kate Spade, because I love Kate Spade for fun evening bags. You're not investing too much so that if you don't wear it that often, um, it's not a big issue. So, yeah, that's where I am. You probably would have thought that my collection was quite safe. Uh, there's not a lot of strong colour. My Chanel bags, apart from my Deville or black. It's just when I'm spending a lot of money, I really want it to be long wearing versatile you know i'm not that girl that's going to get the latest things in all the crazy colors i try now that i've got all my kind of high-end bags the core of my collection i guess now i would take a bit more risk um i would buy a, a colorful chanel i would definitely if i get a chanel mini i would hopefully avoid getting black because it's getting a bit silly now anyway you have heard me over the last few months, whenever I've done a video where it's been relevant, banging on about this beautiful kind of emerald green bag from Kate Spade that I am surprised at how much it goes with and how much I've worn it. I really, I like it so much. And I've seen other people who are really into their high-end bags like Sophie Chauhet. Um, I will try to find the right video and, and link it for you below. She has this in black and really likes it. In, and says that it is a really good quality, well-made piece, which I agree. It's a bit like the Prada. It's bigger. I love the strap a lot more on this one. It's not stitched into the upright position like a hoop. It's like soft and flexible and it's on these like connectors. So you could put a crossbody strap on there. I just really love this bag. So I wanted to get one for you guys. And I have a little Christmas present for somebody um, on here. All brand new in the exact same bag in black from straight from the Kate Spade website. I thought it was wrapped in plastic, but it's wrapped in like foam. So I could get it out to show you. You can see it is exactly the same size. I just got the black one because I thought there's pink, there's green, there's black. And um, I just thought some people might not like bold colours. This is just so classic, so practical. Um, lovely smooth zipper. I've checked it over. I think it's fine. It's all stuffed and ready to go. And I wanted to do this today because I really want to get it out to you. The rules of the giveaway are just that you follow me here on my YouTube channel, that you subscribe, that you comment to enter the giveaway so I know, because there are lots of people who might watch the video and might make a comment saying, I like your bag collection, but they're not particularly interested in this piece. So I would really like it if this went to someone who would really enjoy it. Um, it's a full price current season bag and it's just a really classic day to evening sort of size. Um, it is open to anyone anywhere in the world. But what I would say is, although you will get a tracking number, if something happened because the postal system internationally seems to be messed up. If you live overseas, I'm here in the UK and you don't receive it, I'm not in a position to repurchase it to send it again i would just have to try to track it and find it i just want to put that disclaimer out there i will give you tracking and hopefully it'll be fine but i'm not liable for any loss of, of uh, during international shipping um what else to say um it's 
Thursday today, Thursday the 9th of December, and I want to get this out as soon as possible, so it's actually going to be quite a short period of time. This giveaway is going to end on Sunday night, midnight, so the end of this weekend here in the UK, so that on Monday I can pack it and ship it to the lucky winner. So you need to follow me on my Instagram, you need to subscribe to me on YouTube, and you need to let me know in the comments below that you want to enter. That is really the only rules. Um, but I know that I have a lot more people following me here and they don't always realise that I have an Instagram. So it would be nice if you came over there and followed me on there too. Um, you need to request because I don't just, I do screen who follows me because I've had some um, people who kind of harassed me a bit in the past. And also I'm very wary of those spammy sellers of fakes that just follow and rip off pictures and stuff. So just, you know, I always accept new requests quite quickly. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, something that is um, a nice treat. It's luxurious to me. Yes, it's mid price brand, but this is a great example, this piece of how you can get a really good bag at a really affordable price. I think this was £175 or about $240, I think, this bag goes for. But it is a really great bag if you didn't have the budget for the Prada one. And even if you did have the budget for the Prada one, like I did, and I chose to get that green one because I love the colour. Um, it's not always more is more expensive is better i honestly believe that and i think that this will just go with everything and you whoever wins would really enjoy it so yeah let me know if you would like to enter down below and i hope you enjoyed seeing my up-to-date bag collection i haven't done it for a couple of years there was a lot of change in like the first bit of lockdown i used that time to sell things that weren't used or that i just wished i had a different version and like replaced them so my collection didn't really grow at all it hasn't it's sort of stayed static because i have a bit of a one in one out policy um so that i because i'm just running out of space um so yeah if i do get um the Givenchy or the um chanel mini at any point in the future I would probably get rid of something, although I did sell my Chanel reissue in 2020. Um, and so if I got a new Chanel bag, I probably wouldn't get rid of any of my other Chanel pieces. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I still have some, um, I thought I would do a video on how I, uh, on holiday outfits, because I don't really dress up. You know, I still wear very casual, um, comfy stuff because I'm still overweight and I don't really wear things that are too figure hugging. I don't really do heels and dressing up. I did try to wear heels and it really screwed up my knee. Just walking at that angle, even with a like three inch heel, which just didn't work. So I'm committed to flats for the foreseeable future till my knee is completely better. Um, but I have got some pieces that I have, you know, that are specifically for the holidays and events that I'm going to. And then how I feel festive just when I'm hanging out at home, my picks for like leisure wear and, but just with a festive twist. So if, if a casual Christmas outfits is something you're interested in, I will do that. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably just be the um, announcement of the winner of this on Monday. And also um, I will probably pad that out with just some little clips of, festive things that I can that I've remembered to film I just don't remember to film when something fun is happening I'm so sorry I'm rubbish anyway take care everyone good luck in the giveaway and I'll see you all soon on Monday to reveal the winner bye bye